cardigan we will be using a five millimeter crochet hook a tapestry needle some scissors a tape measure as well as some stitch markers okay. and for the yarn I'm using this denim look it's an Aran weight yarn um, it is a hundred percent acrylic it is a hundred grams um, it recommends a five millimeter which is the hook that I'm using today and this color is called black splash okay so let's get started with today's tutorial you will also be needing a four millimeter four millimeter as well as a three millimeter crochet hook to shape the sleeves we will still continue to use our five millimeter crochet hook throughout the rest of the pattern <clears throat> But to shape the sleeves, we will just be using, we will also be using a 4mm crochet hook as well as a 3mm crochet hook. Okay. So for this sweater, we'll be making two side panels. So this is my first side panel done. Um, you can make this cardigan either a short cardigan or a long cardigan. For the purpose of this video, I'm making a long cardigan. And this cardigan, um, sorry, this panel measures 50 centimeters the short panel i'm um, sorry the short cardigan is going to measure 40 centimeters so if you want to make this shorter which will end at about at about your waist um if you want your cardigan to end at your waist then make this part 40 centimeters or if you want it to end a little bit longer towards like your hip area between your between the middle of your waist and your hip then you can go for the longer one, which is 50 centimeters. Okay, let's get started with crocheting the side panel. Okay, so for your side panel, um, this measurement is going to be from, from the middle of your arm to the middle of your shoulder. Okay, so to begin, we are going to form a slip knot. So we're going to take our yarn, we're going to wrap it around our two fingers to form like an X and then you're going to take your hook you're going to insert under the first loop pick up the second loop take your tail end and you're working on and pull that up okay so from here you are going to want to chain 21 chains so chain is just a yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through so that's two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do is we are now going to, to put one double crochet in the second chain from the hook and every chain across. So if you turn your chain over, it reveals these back bumps on the side here so it reveals these back bumps so you're going to skip this first chain the one that's closest to your hook and we're going to go into the next stitch into the next chain so you're going to yarn over insert into the back loop of the next stitch so what i like to do to get into that back stitch is i like to yarn over insert into the stitch like that all the way through the stitch and then come out and then just catch that back loop okay so you've yarned over so you've yarned over insert it into the stitch and then you're going to yarn over and pull through you'll have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over pull through the first two and then yarn over and pull through the second two to do your double crochet and you just repeat that all the way along the remaining chains and you should have a stitch count of 20. so let's do that again so it's yarn over insert into the next back bump of the chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two again you're gonna yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and you just repeat this all the way along until you get to the end of the chains okay 
So again, just one more time, it's just yarn over, insert into the stitch, whoopsie, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two to do your double crochet. Okay, repeat that all the way along the chains, and I'll come back with you when you move when you move around to the next row. Okay, so now I've come to the end of the first row, and this is what it should be looking like. And I should have 20 double crochet stitches. So if we count the first one, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So the way you can count your stitches is this, this V stitch at the top here. And there's like a little V. So there's like that little V stitch, so you can count your stitches by the tops of the V or by the actual like stitch itself. So there is the post of the stitch. Okay, so as I said, you should have 20 stitches by the end of this row. And you'll just repeat the first row of doing a double crochet in each stitch until you get your desired length. So for the long cardigan, it is 50 centimeters. For the short cardigan, it is 40 centimeters. So um, I like to get um, my edges nice and straight. And the way I do that is I don't chain one. I just turn my work and I pull up a little bit of a loop. And I do a double crochet into the first stitch like that. Okay, and then that gives it this nice... Um, straight edge. Okay, so you can just repeat this, putting one double crochet in each stitch um, until you get the desired length that you want. So as I said, for the short cardigan, it is 40 centimeters, and for the long cardigan, it is 50 centimeters. Okay, so you can just repeat this until you get your desired length, and then I'll meet back up with you when you are finished with this panel. Okay. So now I have come to the end of my one, uh, my one front side panel, um, and as I said, this thing measures fifty centimeters. Okay, so this is, as I said, this is for uh, the long cardigan. If you're doing the shorter one, this would only measure forty centimeters, so it will only stop there. Um, so it'll only stop there if you're doing the short one. Okay, so now to end off, we are literally just going to uh, cut our yarn. Grab my scissors. <laughs> so we're just going to cut our yarn. We'll cut our yarn, and then we're just going to yarn over and pull, um, pull your hook through that loop on your hook, and then pull through to end off. Okay, there we go. So that is the one side done. So you would just repeat these same steps um, for your second front panel. So you would chain 21, you would chain 21, then put a double crochet in the second chain from hook and in the remaining chains. And then you will continue working one double crochet in each stitch for, um, uh, for the length of 50 centimeters or 40 centimeters or for however long you want your cardigan to be. Okay. So you can just repeat this until you have two sides. So the one will be your left and one will be your right. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's get started with crocheting the back panel. Okay, so to start crocheting your back panel, um, you'll want to take a measurement from the middle of your underarm or um, the middle of your side to the middle of your other side or the middle of your underarm. And... Um, yeah, so you can take that measurement or you can just chain to that measurement and put it up towards your body. Um, so again, it's, uh, to make a slip knot, it's take the yarn, wrap it around your two fingers to form an X. Take your hook, insert under the first loop, pick up the second loop, pull your working, sorry, uh, take your tail in and your working yarn and pull that a bit tight. And again, a chain is just yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Yeah, so you can just um, create the length of chains that you need. Then I'll come back and we'll move on to crocheting the rest of the back panel. Okay. Okay, 
So now I have completed my chains and I've cha chained 80 chains. Um, it is slightly a little bit bigger than my waist. I've decided to chain, uh, chain this amount. It seems to be fine around me. And I'm just going to chain one extra chain. So I have now 80, 81 chains. Okay, so now we are going to repeat the same thing as what we did for our side panels. And we're going to place one double crochet into each chain across. So we are going to yarn over, insert into the second chain from the hook, and do a double crochet. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. So again, it's yarn over, insert into the stitch, to the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Again, it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so you just repeat this all the way along, putting one double crochet into each chain until the end. Okay. Okay, so now I am back and I have finished uh, doing one double crochet in each chain across and you should have a stitch count of 80. So from now on um, we are just going to place one double crochet in each stitch across. Um, we're going to keep repeating this until we get the length of a cardigan that we want. So since I'm going for the long cardigan uh, this measurement is going to be 50. So from the bottom here, let me just fix my yarn quickly. Um, so from the bottom, so from our bottom of our back panel all the way up, it should measure 50 centimeters. Um, so this will be the same length as our front, front, uh, sorry, our front panels. Okay, so you can just repeat this, putting one double crochet, putting one double crochet in each stitch across until you get your desired length. And again, if you are going for the shorter cardigan, then, then you would keep on going until this measures 40 centimeters. Yeah, and because I'm going for the long cardigan, I'm going to keep on going until this measurement, um, or until the back panel measures 50 centimeters. Okay, so you can just repeat this, putting one double crochet in each stitch until you get your desired length, and then I'll come back when we're done with this. Okay. Okay. So now I have come to the end of my back panel, as you can see here. So what we're going to do to end off, I have already snipped my yarn and I'm just going to yarn over and basically do a chain one and then pull the yarn through that chain one loop and then pull it tight. Okay, so there is our back panel now done. Let me just zoom out for you quickly. Okay, so this is how big it is. Um, the length of your back panel should measure the same as your as your front panels. So as you can see here, I'll lay it out. I can't get the whole thing in frame, but your side front panels should measure the same length as your back panel. So again, if you have done the bigger one, it is 50 centimeters. If you have done the smaller one, it is 40 centimeters. So your front panels and your back panels would be the same measurement, either 50 centimeters or 40 centimeters. So again, just to confirm that it is 50 centimeters, I'm just going to take my measuring tape and just measure from the top to the bottom, and it is indeed 50 centimeters. Okay, so now we can put this aside, and we can actually start joining our, our front panels to our back panel. So this is the full length of my back panel here. It does go a little bit off camera. And as I said, your front panels should be the same length as your back panel. As you can see there, it's like the same length. Um, 
so yeah so now we are going to sew the front panels to the back panels so we're only going to sew um at the top here we the top of the front and the back join together okay so let's start sewing it together okay so now what you want to do is i can't lay lay my back panel out all the way but i'm just going to lay it flat like this and what you want to do is you would want to place your front side panels in like in front of it if that makes any sense like that and like this on either side okay So you'd want to have the width of your cardigan against the width of um, of the two front panels. So we're going to sew here at the shoulders over here. So what you'd want to do is you want to grab some of your yarn and you would just want to cut a piece of yarn that is about three times the length of this. So that's one, two, three and then just maybe like a little bit extra just for safety reasons yeah so we can take that and then we can just get and then we can just get our tapestry needle okay so now that you've got your tapestry needle you just want to thread your tapestry needle and what you'd want to do is so we are going to do a whip stitches so let me just take this one out the way here and I'm just going to work with this one for now so what you would want to do is so we are going to do the whip stitch so we are going to insert through the front stitch of this side and then through the front stitch of this side let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see okay and we're going to pull our thread through and of course leave a little bit of a tail and then we're just going to go back through those two stitches again just to secure that and then we're just going to whip stitch it so we're going to go through the next stitch of this side and then through the next stitch on the next side or sorry the other side and then you're just going to pull that through and then you're going to do that again you're going to come through to this side the front panel and then go through to the back panel pull that through and then again come back through the front front panel and then back through the back panel the next stitch and then go into the next stitch of the front panel of the front panel and then the back panel and then again from the front panel from the front panel to the back panel so you just repeat this um, whip stitching all the way across until you get to the other end and then I'll show you how we can end off okay so you can just carry on whip stitching this closed So now I've just whip stitched to my last stitch and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert again back through that stitch but instead of pulling my yarn all the way through I'm going to have a little bit of a loop and then I am just going to take my needle and insert it through the loop and pull that tight. Okay so now there is our seam so that what that is what our seam should be looking like now. And if you flip it over, it should be a nice, neat join. Okay, so you would want to keep all of your seams to one side. Um, so the side that the seam is on, we'll call this the wrong side. And because these sides are so identical, you can just choose whichever side you want to be the wrong side, which will be the side that your seam is on. Okay, so now what you would want to do is you just want to sew your tail end in. So let me just move this around and I like to just thread my needle back through underneath all of those stitches 
and then I'll just come in through my project through some of the stitches in my project sorry let me just re-thread my needle here quickly yeah so let me just thread my needle through some of the stitches here like that and then I'm just gonna sew this under some of the stitches over here as well okay try not to pull that too tight don't want to distort any of the stitches okay now that that is sewn in roughly sewn in we can now trim our end and then we can just repeat that for the other two sides just sewing it underneath the stitches okay okay so now this is what it should be looking like once it is all um sewn in and sewn together so now all of my tail ends are sewn in this is what the seam should be looking like and again, this is what the outside should be looking like. Okay, so now we can just repeat the same steps for the other side. So let me just move this around here. So again, you just want to take your front panel and line it up with the back panel like this. you want you can like flip this around so you don't have to sit with so many tail ends on one side <laughs> okay so now again you'll just repeat that same process so we'll grab some more yarn so and it's three times that so that's one two three and then just a little bit more So again, you just repeat that, sewing, sewing the front panel to the back panel, just whip stitching it closed. So you can repeat this for this side, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it should look like when we're done with this. And then we can start sewing up the sides here and creating our armhole. Let me just move this back a bit. So... Um, so you can just finish sewing this up here and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, how to sew up this side or the side of the cardigan and leaving an armhole gap on this side. Okay, so you can just go off and sew that section together and then I'll come back. Okay, so now that both sides have been sewn together, this is what it should be looking like. So if I just pull this side in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get all of this on camera. So here is the back panel and then here is your front panels. So it should kind of look like a big U. So like these are the tops of all well, the two like side legs of the U and then the bottom of the U is this big, <laughs> big back panel. So now what we're going to want to do is we are now going to want to sew our side up together. So what we can do now is just pick, pick our cardigan up and lay it flat on the table so the front the front panels is touching the back panels sorry it's touching the back panel <laughs> okay so so now you just want to lay it out flat like that okay so as i said let me just fold it up nicely so as i said you have your front panels on top of your back panel okay lay this out nicely okay so you have the front panel on top of your back panel so now what we're going to want to do is we are just going to want to sew up the side panel or we'll sew up the sides together here so you just want to sew up the sides and we are going to be leaving a gap on the side for your armhole So for the armhole opening, I have just marked 22 centimeters down from the top where the seam is. Um, so from the seam, from the shoulder seam, I have marked down 22 centimeters and 
where to where 22 centimeters ends is where I place a stitch marker and I place my stitch marker through the stitch through the front and the back panel um, of the cardigan and then you'll you'll also place your stitch marker 22 centimeters down from the armhole opening for the other side of the cardigan so after you have marked your 22 centimeters down from the shoulder you will then uh, whip stitch um, the side of your cardigan down so it will you will start seaming from the bottom of your cardigan up to the stitch marker um, you will not sew beyond that okay so now once you have completed sewing your side seams together this is what it should be looking like now so you'll have an opening here for your armhole or for your arm and then also on this side you'll also have an opening for your arm here <clears throat> so this is what it will look like so now we can just turn this inside out so we can have the nice beautiful seam on the outside so now we can just flip this the right way around now okay so this is what it should be looking like now the side all seamed up all nicely like that okay so that's what the seam looks like on the right side of the work okay so now what we are going to do is we are now going to start crocheting our sleeves okay so we are actually going to crochet a row of single crochets around the armhole okay let's get started with that okay so now we are going to start crocheting the sleeves of the cardigan so you would want to grab your hook again and your your yarn and we are going to want to insert into like the bottom of the the armhole here so you just want to insert anywhere um anywhere towards the bottom end and then just going to chain one and we are just going to place one single crochet around each stitch around and a single crochet is insert back into the back into the stitch you came out of yarn over pull through we'll have two loops on the hook and then we'll yarn over pull through those two loops on the hook okay that's a single crochet and I'll show you again we're going to go into the next stitch we're going to roughly place one single crochet evenly around um, so we're just going to insert yarn over pull through then yarn over and pull through those two loops again we're going to go into the next stitch we're going to roughly place one single crochet evenly around um, so we're just going to insert yarn over pull through then yarn over and pull through those two loops to do another single crochet then again i'll show you one more time you're going to insert yarn over pull through two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two to do another single crochet so you as i said you just want to evenly evenly place one single crochet all the way around just neatly place one single crochet all the way around the armhole until we get back to the beginning okay when you get to the end of the sleeve after crocheting one single crochet all the way around um, you just want to count your stitches and take note of that stitch count write it down somewhere because um, you'll need that stitch count for the other armhole okay so now I have made it back to the beginning and I have done one single crochet in each stitch around all the way to the beginning again and then I'm just going to place one single crochet like in between like in the middle of the seam here I'm just going to try and place a single crochet there doesn't have to be perfect and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning stitch over there so I'm just going to insert my hook into that first stitch so I'm just going to insert and then yarn over pull through so let me do that again so we're going to insert yarn over pull through we'll have two loops on your hook and then just pull 
this first loop through the second loop. Okay, so now, now we have done one single crochet around the opening of the armhole. So now what we are going to do is we are now just going to place um, a double crochet into every stitch around. And we will be doing a double crochet, uh, sorry, a standing double crochet stitch. We won't chain one at the beginning. So we're just going to yarn over, insert back into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. Let's do a double crochet stitch. And you will just repeat that all the way around, putting one double crochet into every stitch around until you get back to the beginning again. Okay. Okay, so now I have made it back to the beginning again, and I have just slip stitched to the beginning. So, um, to, again, to start, uh, every time I start a new row, we will do a standing double crochet. So, like we did with the body and the front panel, we will always start with the standing double crochet. But if you so want to, you can start with the chain one and continue like that. Okay, so again, we are just going to place one double crochet into each stitch around. And we will continue placing one double crochet in each stitch around until the length of our sleeve touches our elbow. So you're going to keep on repeating this one double crochet row until it touches your elbow until it gets to the length of your elbow. And then once we have gotten to that point, we will start decreasing. So we can have so we can form the the, the narrowest part of your arm. Um and then we can start maybe on the wrists and yeah so you can just continue placing one double crochet in each stitch around until the length of your sleeve is to your elbow okay so you can just continue that and I'll meet you when our sleeve is to that point okay okay so now after you have completed crocheting um, one double crochet in each stitch around until your sleeve measures 19 centimeters so from there so like plus minus like 19 centimeters um, we will then um, change our hook size down to our four millimeter crochet hook okay so we're not going to use the five millimeter anymore for the sleeves we are dropping down to our four millimeter crochet hook and we will continue placing one double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so you'd want to continue uh, putting one double crochet in each stitch around until your sleeve measures 25 centimeters. So you'll continue working with your four millimeter crochet hook continuing to place one double crochet in each stitch around and slip stitching to the beginning until your total sleeve then measures 25 centimeters okay okay so now i have continued crocheting my one double crochet in each stitch around until my sleeve measures 25 centimeters and i was working in my four millimeter crochet hook and now my sleeve me measures 25 centimeters. So now since it measures 25 centimeters, we will drop our four millimeter, four millimeter crochet hook, and then we will pick up our three millimeter crochet hook. Okay. So we have dropped our four millimeter and we have picked up our three millimeter crochet hook. And we are just gonna continue placing one double crochet into each stitch around and slip stitch to the beginning until your sleeve measures 45 centimeters or is or is or ends at your wrist okay so you just want to continue crocheting with the three millimeter crochet hook until your sleeve measures 45 centimeters Okay, so now I've come back and I've finished crocheting the length of my sleeve. And as I said, your sleeve should now measure 45 centimeters. Okay, 
so we've worked from the armhole to about here with our five millimeter crochet hook and then we've worked about this portion with our three millimeter crochet hook and the remaining was with our three millimeter with five four and three okay so now we are going to just close up this area just a little bit more um because this is still a bit like big for like your wrist okay so what we are going to do is we're still going to use our three millimeter crochet hook and i'm just going to insert my hook let me just zoom in a little bit here okay so there we go okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to bring in our sleeve just a little bit just bring it in okay so what we're going to do is we're going to place a single crochet into the first stitch so you're going to insert yarn over pull through you'll have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through sorry pull through the two loops that's a single crochet you'll put a single crochet into the next stitch and then you'll skip the next stitch then you'll insert into the next stitch and do a single crochet and a single crochet into the next stitch and then skip the next stitch and then into the next stitch so skip one and then two single crochets skip one two single crochets or one single crochet in the next two skip one one sorry skip one and then one single crochet in the next two skip one and then one single crochet in the next two stitches and you just repeat this all the way around putting one single crochet in the next two stitches and then skip a stitch and then one single crochet in the next two and then skip a stitch okay so put one single crochet in the next two skip a stitch and then one single crochet in the next two okay you can just continue with that and i'll come back and meet you up when we're at the beginning again okay so now i've made it back around to the beginning and i have done as i said two single crochets skip one two single crochets skip one all the way around and now, as you can see it is now like brought brought the sleeve in more if that makes any sense um so yeah it's okay if you don't end on um on two single crochets exactly or if you just end on a skipped skipped one and then a single crochet it's not going to make much of a difference um but yeah <laughs> so we will just slip stitch to the beginning and now and now we are going to form our cuff I'm going to form my cuff so we're just going to pick up a loop we're going to change our hook size back to our five millimeter crochet hook so we're going to bring back our five millimeter crochet hook okay so we're going to insert our hook back into the loop and then from here we are going to chain 10 so we're going to yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through that's two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Okay, and then we're going to flip our chains over and we're going to go into the second chain from hook and we are going to do a single crochet in there and into each chain across. Okay. okay so you'll just place one single crochet in each chain across and you should have nine single crochets by the end of this okay. <clears throat> okay so now after you have after you have finished crocheting into all of those chains we are going to skip the the stitch that our slip stitch is originally coming out of okay so we're going to skip the stitch that our slip stitch is originally originally coming out of we're going to go into the next stitch could be a little tight at first you're going to go into the stitch and then you're going to slip stitch okay so slip stitch and we're going to slip stitch back into the next stitch so into the next stitch gonna insert yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch 
then we're going to turn our work and then we're going to work back into these chains but then we're going to work into we are going to work into the back loops only of these stitches so let me just get my darning needle real quickly okay so now I've just got my darning needle and I'm just going to zoom in a bit here so you can see what I'm doing So, with single crochets or with any stitch, you have two loops. You have the loop that is the furthest away from you is the back loop. Okay, so this is the back loop, the one that's furthest away from you. The loop that's closest to you is the front loop. Okay, so we are going to place uh, we are going to place a single crochet into the back loop of each stitch. So you're going to insert, you're going to pull through, do your single crochet, and then into the next stitch, do your single crochet, and repeat that all the way along. And you should still keep the same stitch count of nine. Okay. Then we're at the last one, single crochet in there, chain one and turn. Okay. And then you're going again, you're going to place one single crochet in each stitch into the back loops. To the back loops of each stitch. And again, the back loop is the furthest loop away from you. So you'll just alternate this. You'll just alternate these rows, putting one single crochet into the back loop only and you'll slip stitch twice into the base so I'll show you again here so you've come up to the end of the row single crochet row and then we'll skip the slip stitch that our chain is coming out of we'll skip that stitch and then into the next stitch we will, we will slip stitch and then into the next stitch again we will slip stitch so the first slip stitch is to is to connect our previous row to the sleeve and then the next slip stitch up is to create leverage to go back on these chains. Okay, so we're going to turn our work again and we are again going to place one single crochet. Come on. I think it's this one. We're going to place one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch again till you get to the end and you're going to chain one and turn then again you are going to place one single crochet in each back loop of each stitch and then you will again slip stitch twice into the base so this will just form some nice ribbing for the cuff giving it a nice look to the cuff okay. So you'll just repeat this all the way around until you have the same amount of rows as for the single crochet stitches as you did for the cuff. But you can just repeat this around. So now I'm just slip stitching to the base and I'm slip stitching again in the next stitch and turn my work. And then carry on single crocheting to each of the back loops all the way across okay so you just repeat this all the way around until I get back to the beginning and then once we have gotten back to the beginning and we have no more single crochet stitches to work into I will show you what to do next okay okay so now I have come to the end of my cuff here and um, when it came to the end, uh, I slip stitched into the last two stitches and then I did one row up. 
Um, I'm not going to go back down again because I have no stitches on the base to work into. So now what I'm going to do is I am just going to cut my yarn. So I am just going to take my scissors <coughs> and you want to leave just a little bit of a tail. Not too much, maybe about 30 centimeters or so. Just snip your yarn, yarn over and pull your yarn through like that to do a knot. And then what you'd want to do is you would just want to take your darning needle. Just want to take your darning needle and thread your needle. <clears throat> and then what we are going to do is we are just going to whip stitch this closed. So let me just zoom in here. Okay, so we're just going to whip stitch this section closed. So we are going to go in I'm going to go in through the one side and then come out the other side on of the panel like this with the stitch and again going to the next stitch on the right hand side and going to the next stitch on the left hand side and again going to the next stitch on the right hand side and insert into the stitch on the left hand side <coughs> And then again, just insert your needle onto the right hand side, and then back through the stitch on the left hand side, again insert through the stitch on the right hand side, and then through the stitch on the left, and repeat this all the way down. Just closing this. Okay. <coughs> And then once you get to the end here, and you've whip stitched your last stitch together, what we're going to do is we're just going to hide our tail end. So you can just go um, like into your work here and go under those single crochet stitches from the previous row or your slip stitches, I should say. Your slip stitches, you don't want to pull it too tight, you don't want to distort any of your stitches. <clears throat> or you can go back up into your cuff and just go under some of the stitches there and essentially what you just want to do is just hard your tail end just sew in your tail end You could even go back in the same direction you came in, but like skipping the first initial stitch that you came out of and go back under some of those single crochet stitches. <clears throat> Just so under some of these stitches here. Again, okay. and when you're happy with how you've sewn that together or sewn that in, you can now just take your scissors and snip your yarn close to your work. And there is your cuff done. That is what it looks like. Let me just get this nice here. So that's what your cuff looks like. Let me just zoom out here. So you can see. Whoopsie. So you can see what the final sleeve looks like. Okay, so this is what the length of the sleeve looks like. So as you can see, <coughs> it gradually like decreases or tapers into the the end of the sleeve here so this is what essentially what happens if you drop your hook size um 
obviously your stitches will become like tighter because you've dropped a hook, uh, hook size so it like brings the stitches more closer together yeah so you can just repeat the same exact steps um, for your other sleeve um, so you crochet you do single crochets evenly so you would do single crochets all the way around your armhole opening and you'll use the same stitch counts as what you did for the first sleeve so that will be the number that you had written down from the first sleeve and then with your five millimeter crochet hook well yeah with your five millimeter crochet hook you'll do all the single crochets and then you'll do one double crochet in each stitch um in each stitch around until you get to 19 centimeters of your, of your sleeve then you'll change to your four millimeter crochet hook and you work till your sleeve measures 25 centimeters then you'll drop your four millimeter crochet hook and you'll pick up your three millimeter crochet hook and you'll continue working the sleeve portion and your three millimeter crochet hook you will do your single crochet row in your three millimeter crochet hook and then you'll do your cuff in your five millimeter crochet hook Okay, so you can just follow those steps for the second sleeve and then we'll come back and we will do we will continue with um, with the front of the cardigan. Okay. Okay. So now that we have both of our sleeves done and completed, we are now going to move on to to the front to the front of the panels. So here, and you get this out here quickly. So now we are going to put one single crochet along the edge here. So we're going to place one single crochet around the front, around the edges of the front side panels and up the back of the neck area. So we're just going to join our yarn on any side okay let me just get my yarn okay so just gonna yarn over and pull through do a chain one and you're just gonna evenly place one single crochet all the way around the front opening so along the edges of the front side panels and along the back of the neck opening and essentially what we'll be doing now is creating like the actual front panels now if that makes much sense um, so these are the side front panels we'll be making the front panels now okay so you can just Continue placing one single crochet all the way around until you get to the to the end of the other side front side panel. Okay, you can continue that, and I'll meet you up when we when we are out, are at the end. Okay. Yeah. So now I've come to the end. I've single crocheted all the way around my my other front side panel here all the way around the neck opening and back down the other side panel so now we are going to do double crochets so now we are just going to put a hook back in we're going to chain one and turn let me just zoom in a bit here and then essentially what you want to do is place one double crochet in each stitch until the 11th stitch from the top so let me actually just zoom out again so if you want you can get a stitch marker so you can get a stitch marker and you can mark the 11th stitch from the corner so it doesn't have to be exactly from the corner but roughly where the corner is so Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So just place it in the 11th stitch. Let me count that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, so just place that in the 11th stitch. So essentially what we are going to do is we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch until the stitch before the stitch marker. 
then we'll place a half double crochet stitch in the stitch of the stitch marker and then we'll place a single crochet into the remaining um, 10 stitches of the panel okay so you're just going to place one double crochet <clears throat> So we are just going to place one double crochet and this is using your five millimeter crochet hook by the way um, we are still using our five millimeter crochet hook so we're just going to place one double crochet into each stitch across <clears throat> until we get to the stitch before the stitch marker okay okay so now I have crocheted up to the last stitch just before the stitch marker. So now we can just remove our stitch marker, we don't need it anymore. And then in the next stitch we're going to place one half double crochet. So half double crochet is a yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook to do a half double crochet. And then in the remaining 10 stitches we're going to place one single crochet so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so that's what it should be looking like so far so as you can see it goes straight and then like kind of tapers down this is exactly what we want okay because we're going to kind of shape like the neck opening to a point the neck opening and obviously like the rest of like the front rest of the cardigan makes any sense <laughs> okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to chain one and we're going to turn our work we're going to turn our work <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is instead of placing one single crochet in the first 10 stitches like what we did for the first row we are now going to we are now going to place one single crochet into the next 11 stitches okay so we're going to place one single crochet into the next 11 stitches One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then in this next stitch, we will put one half double crochet. So we'll yarn over insert yarn over pull through we'll have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all three loops on on our hook to do a half double crochet and then we're going to continue placing one double crochet into the remaining stitches and essentially that is what we will be doing so we will mo be moving our single crochets further and further down so for the next row instead of it being 11 it's going to be 12 then the next row is going to be 13, 14, 15, 16, and so on and, and so forth. And um, we will keep on doing this until we have the desired length for the front panels, um, for the inner front panels now. Um, so, yeah, so you'll always be moving your single crochets and your half double crochet stitch over by one, by one stitch. So for the next row, as I said, um when we do our one half double crochet it'll be the one double crochet stitch before the one half double crochet stitch and then we'll have 12 is it thir no i think it's 13 single crochets now is that no i think it'll be 12 single crochets but yeah essentially that's what we will be doing okay so you can just continue this until the end of this row and then I'll come back and I will show you how to do the next row okay okay 
so now I am back at the end and I'm ready to move on to my next row so again you would chain one and turn and then you would place one double crochet in each stitch until there are remaining 13 stitches so it's literally just the stitch before the half double crochet stitch okay so if you if you feel if you're not feeling certain about where to place your half double crochet stitch then you can place your stitch marker in the stitch of the half double crochet and then you know that the stitch before the half double crochet is when you need to place your double crochet your last double crochet stitch okay so you can just repeat this putting one double crochet in each stitch until you get to the remaining 13 stitches or the stitch before the half double crochet stitch okay okay so now i'm ready to do my half double crochet so again you would count 13 stitches till the end so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 so we'll be placing a half double crochet stitch and our last double crochet stitch of the previous round so you get a half double crochet is yarn over insert yarn over pull three we'll have three loops on a hook yarn over and pull through all three of those loops and then we'll place one single crochet in the remaining 12 stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and then we will slip stitch in the last stitch again okay so then we will chain one so we will chain one and turn okay so we'll chain one and turn our work And then so we will skip this first stitch because that is our slip stitch so we'll skip that first stitch and then we will place one single crochet into the next 13 stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen and then in the next stitches we will do the half double crochet so we'll yarn over insert yarn over pull through we'll have three loops on a hook yarn over and pull through all three of those loops and then you will place one double crochet in the remaining stitches And just repeat this all the way to the end and then I'll meet back up with you when you're ready to move on to the next row okay okay so now that I'm at the end you would just want to chain one and turn <clears throat> and then you just want to place one double crochet in each stitch until you have 15 stitches remaining okay so you can just continue this putting one double crochet in each stitch until you have 15 stitches remaining okay okay so once you have 15 stitches remaining so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 sorry i was actually supposed to go over one more <laughs> okay so in the next stitch we're going to place one half double crochet so again it's yarn over insert yarn over pull through and then pull through all three loops on your hook <clears throat> so do a half double crochet and then you'll just place one single crochet 
in the remaining 14 stitches. <clears throat> okay and then when we get to the end you will slip stitch into that stitch again on the end and then you will chain one and turn Okay, so you'll chain one and turn. Okay. And then you'll skip the like first little stitch that is our slip stitch. And then you'll place one single crochet into the next 15 stitches. So it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then in the next stitch. And then in the next stitch we'll do a half double crochet so we'll yarn over and search yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and then we will continue with our double crochets to the end of the row okay so you can just continue this and i'll meet back up with you when we are at the end of this row okay okay so now that we've made it to the end of this row, again we are just going to chain one and turn and then we are going to place one double crochet in each stitch until we have 17 remaining stitches. Okay, so you can just continue this until we have 17 stitches remaining. Okay. Okay. So now I have done my last double crochet and I should have 17 stitches remaining. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay. And again in the next stitch we'll do a half double crochet. And then we will place one single crochet in the remaining 16 stitches. And then we will slip stitch in the end again when we get to the end. <clears throat> okay, the last single crochet. And again, we're just going to slip stitch into the end. Okay, then we're going to chain one and then we will turn our work. Oops. So we will turn our work. Turn our work around. And then this will be our last stitch. Sorry, our last row. Okay, so continuing on for our next row, we are going to chain one, skip the first little slip stitch, and then we'll place one single crochet into the first 17 single crochets. So that's one, two, sorry, into the first 17 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And then in the next stitch we'll do one half double crochet. So again it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all of the loops on your hook. And then you'll just want to continue placing one double crochet in each of this remaining stitches until we get to the end. Okay, so I'll just meet you at back when we are at the end. Okay. Okay, so now we are at the end of the last row. We should now have eight rows in total. Yeah, so we should have eight rows in total. So now we are going to end off. You can make this this section shorter or longer if you want to. It's ideally up to you. So we can just snip our yarn. There we go. That is our side panel done. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it kind of tapers off here. Kind of like gives the shape of like a neck opening. Um, so yeah, now we can just repeat this for the other side. So now we can just repeat this for this side of the cardigan. So this side. So we will start here at the bottom of, of the front panel. We will start here on this side. And then we'll work our way up until we have 10, yeah, 10 stitches remaining. No, sorry, 11 stitches remaining from the top. And then we'll do a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then 10 single crochets in the remaining. And then a slip stitch. And then... And then you'll continue like that. Um, if you need to, you can go back um, to where we did this side panel. And you can just follow the same instructions. Um, so yeah, you can go off and you can do the other side. And I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when we're at the end. Or when this is finished. Okay. Okay. So now that we have both our, <clears throat> our two front panels done and crocheted we are going to pick up where we left off <clears throat> so we're just going to chain one and turn and then we will just place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around just to neaten off um, these rows and also we're just going to do one single crochet around the, the back of the neck hole opening here as well so we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around until we get back up to this other end okay so you can just do that you can just go off and place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around okay So now I have single crocheted all the way around, back to the other end over here. <clears throat> so now we can just take our scissors and we can just cut our yarn. And we can just pull that through. Okay, so that is that part of the cardigan done. So now this edging looks all nice and neat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do ribbing along the bottom edge of the cardigan. So what you would want to do, <clears throat> we actually didn't have to cut our yarn, but it's okay. <laughs> we can just rejoin. Okay, so what you would want to do, so I'll just flip my work so that the end of, of uh, so the end of the cardigan is sitting away from me. And I have the sleeves and everything else on me. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do. <clears throat> is we are just going to get our crochet hook our five millimeter crochet hook and we are just going to insert it gonna yarn over do a chain one to secure it and then we are just going to place one single crochet evenly all the way around Let me just, sorry, let me just crochet over my tail end. Making sure I get both of my tail ends there. Okay. So 
So again, you just want to put one single crochet around the bottom of the cardigan. When it comes to these um, side panels that we did here, um, just go into the edges very neatly. Or try and, <laughs> try and do it nice and neat. Yeah, so you can just continue putting one single crochet in each stitch around the bottom of the cardigan. Then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do for the ribbing. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so now that we have made it all the way back to the beginning again, and we've single crocheted all the way around the bottom edge of the cardigan, we are now going to form the the ribbing of of the cardigan or the edge of the cardigan so to do that we are just going to it's going to be the same ribbing as what we did for the sleeves so we're going to chain 10 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay then we're going to turn our chains over then we're going to place a single crochet in the second chain from hook and in each chain across. Okay. So you'll just repeat this all the way down your chains, placing one single crochet to every stitch. Let me actually just zoom in here quite a while while we're at it. So, okay, so there we go. Okay, so after we have chained um, our 10 chains and done one single crochet in the second chain from hook and then each chain across, we're going to go into the next stitch of our work. We're going to slip stitch in there. Then we're going to go over the next stitch and slip stitch again and then we're going to turn our work. And then we're going to place one single crochet. Sorry, we're going to place one single crochet in the back loops only. So if you remember, the back loop only is the loop that is furthest away from you. So here's your back loop here. There's your back loop. And there is your front loop. So you'll go into your back loop. <clears throat> and you'll place one single crochet in each back loop only of all the stitches and you should have a stitch count of nine because we had single crochet into a second chain from hook so we should have nine stitches nine single crochets okay so again chain one turn then one single crochet in the back loops only of each stitch across okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so Place one single crochet in the back loops only of the single crochets, and then you again you you would uh, slip stitch into the next two stitches on the base, turn your work, and then do that again, placing one single crochet in each back loop of each stitch, all the way around. Sorry, not all the way around <laughs> to the end. And then you'll just repeat this all the way around the bottom length of the cardigan. Okay. So this is what it should be looking like. Okay. So you can just repeat this until you have completed 
all of your ribbing at the bottom of your cardigan. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what it's like at the end. Okay. Okay. So now I've come to the end of my ribbing here. So now I'm just going to cut my yarn. I'm just going to cut it and I'm just going to end off quickly. Okay. And that is it. And that is our our cardigan done I can't get the whole thing in frame at the moment zoom out a little okay so that's our cardigan done and now the last thing that is left to do is just sew in our ends so let me just get my darning needle okay and then to sew in our ends it doesn't matter which um forgot to mention that it doesn't matter uh, which way you end on um so for here um i slip stitched like to the end and then i had to work back up and it's fine if you end right on the edge here of the ribbing or if you end down here but either way it doesn't matter as long as <laughs> as long as you have ended nicely and where where the ribbing is in line with the rest of the cardigan okay so now to sew in our end we are just going to take our tail end and we are just going to weave it through weave it through some of the stitches there i don't know if you can see that clearly but just weave your needle through those stitches to sew in these tail ends you can just pull that through you don't need to pull it too tight and pull your work so that it comes so it comes back it's not bunched up after you you've sewn it and then i'm just going to kind of sew back like into the work and then i'm just going to run my needle down these stitches here So now once you're happy with that, <clears throat> then you can just take your scissors and you can cut your the tail end that's sticking out. And I think that's all the tail ends. Don't think I've any more to sew in. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay, so that is that. That's the cardigan done. Let's see if I can maybe get this this cardigan into frame okay so this is what the cardigan looks like now that I've completed the bottom ribbing so this is what it looks like here excuse my desk I have such a small space to work on okay so there's the ribbing on the sleeves okay so this is what it looks like Yeah, and also, um, if you want to, which I'm going to do, I'm going to steam block the cardigan. Um, I highly recommend that you steam block it, or even if you don't have a steamer, get your iron and just steam it. So what I would do is I would pin these edges down. So I would pin, um, pin the edges of the ribbing down. And I will just take my iron or my steamer and just lightly steam the cardigan. Even here at the top. So I would suggest that you also steam um, this side of the... So these sides of the cardigan, just here where it starts to shape. Um, just so that the cardigan can keep its shape at the top here. Um... So yeah, I think that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys managed to follow along and I hope you guys um, enjoyed 
learning how to crochet this black splash cardigan with me <laughs> so yeah that's it for today's video guys thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your crocheting and also please like comment and subscribe <laughs> thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your crocheting